Fox News alert, a new theory on what caused one of the most horrific plane crashes ever caught on camera. Welcome to a brand new hour of America Live, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. These new questions stem from this horrifying photo of the last moments before the vintage World War II fighter plane plummeted nose first into the stands this weekend. The critical part of this picture, the fact that you cannot see the pilot. Look here. Ten people have now died as a result of an accident at an air race in Nevada. Our own Trace Gallagher just spoke to the NTSB, and he joins us live now with some fresh insight on what may have gone wrong. Trace? And the NTSB, Megan, is going to take a look at three pictures. I want to show you each one individually and show you why they're important. The first picture you can see here taken seconds before the crash. You see what's circled? It's something called the elevator trim tab. It's on the tail, and it helps the plane fly straight and level. You can clearly see a chunk of that trim tab is missing. Some believe that maybe that could have pushed the plane into a steep ascent and into a stall, causing it to crash. The second picture, otherwise, you know, people say that couldn't do it because it's not that big of a tail section. The next picture shows Jimmy Leeward, the pilot, on the ground right before he takes off. The reason this is important is you can clearly see through the glass cockpit that he's in there, wearing a helmet, a parachute, and that he is strapped in by a shoulder harness. Okay, that's important because as we go to the next picture, there are two important things. First, look at this. Again, seconds before the crash. The first circle is on the tail, uh, the tail section of the landing gear. It should not be deployed. It should be tucked up underneath the belly because it's going 400 miles per hour. That adds a great deal of drag. It shouldn't be out there. Now look at the important part. See the circle at the top? There is nothing visible at all inside the cockpit. In fact, you can see all the way through the cockpit to the other side and the wing. Now, the theory here from the NTSB might be that he passed out, that he was unconscious. But remember, he's strapped in by a shoulder harness. Even if he was unconscious, you could still see his head. His head might nod forward. I talked to an aviation mechanic who works on these planes who says he believes that the seat, because it was going four, five, six G's actually fell back. It busted or slipped back and that Jimmy Leeward no longer had his hands on the controls and that's why this plane went up and spiraled out of control. Listen to this aviation mechanic now. Here you've got a pilot laying on his back on a parachute. He's got the stick in his hand. It's got its back and to the right and he's just he's probably trying to pull himself forward but the airplane climbs rolls right and does a snap roll, stalls, and then it falls out of the sky. And when it falls out of the sky, it's no longer flying. The wing is no longer flying. It's just like a brick. It's falling right out of the sky. It, it falls like a brick out of the sky. The first thing they teach you, Megan, when you learn how to fly is your seat has to be secured because if the seat slides back, you have no access to the pedals. You have no access to the throttle or the stick. That's the key thing here. The NTSB will clearly take a look at this because that is a very plausible explanation because you cannot see Jimmy Leeward at all in that cockpit seconds before the right. crash and the plane goes right and the plane should have to stay on course went left. So if he passed out, there's no reason for that plane to go in an uncontrolled spiral. They're going to look at it. It's a theory from an aviation mechanic who works on these. The NTSB will clearly take a very hard look at that explanation. Wow. It is a chilling photograph, though, to see how you can see straight through the cockpit and no pilot right. uh, appears, you know, in the, in the eye line. Trace, thank you. Okay.